Well, Josh and Brenda, I'm standing in a ravine about yards from where the Open Door Baptist Church once stood here on Birmingham Road, and this whole ravine is littered with what's left of automobiles. More than 14 cars ended up here in this ravine, which were once in the parking lot where the Open Door Baptist Church once stood. But you can get a pretty good idea that once cars are picked up and thrown that far, we're talking about some incredible wind. And with a storm like this, it's something that we don't see very often. We had an idea this could happen, but still, this was a storm beyond belief. The F5 tornado. It's classified as incredible. Some call it the finger of God for its phenomenal power. Its winds rotate from 261 to 318 miles per hour, leveling nearly all buildings in its path. On the morning of April 8, forecasters knew the weather could make this a dangerous and memorable day for Alabama. But no one could have predicted the hell these people experienced at 8 o'clock that night. F5 tornadoes are very rare. They represent about 1% of all tornadoes recorded across this country each year. The last one to hit Birmingham was 21 years ago. Storms that produce F5 tornadoes are called supercell thunderstorms. These thunderstorms often rotate on their own, in turn enhancing the tornado's strength, allowing the tornado to increase its speed and shred whatever is in its path. This storm on April 8th was no exception. Entire homes destroyed, a solid school level, and automobiles became flying missiles. Debris from this storm was not only scattered across the vicinity of the path, but across our state. Letterheads from churches in Oak Grove High School were found as far away as the state line. Family portraits, which once hung at Jefferson County homes, soon rested three counties away. But it's the bicycle, which was found 40 miles away from its home, tells the story of this storm's rage, reminding many who didn't experience this tornado how deadly these rotating winds can be. It's only a matter of time before another F5 tornado plows through central Alabama. This storm was a painful reminder that we have to be ready for the worst and prepare for another night of terror. Now look at this pine tree here. You can see how severely it's been damaged. There's not much left to it. But when we do check out uh, tornado damage, as well as the National Weather Service, there are a number of things we look for to try to at least categorize these tornadoes when they come through. One thing in particular is if bark is blown off of trees. That's a very good indication that the winds were in excess of 261 miles per hour, which categorizes a tornado into an F5 class. Unbelievably, we have now seen areas which the winds could have been in excess of 300 miles per hour. And an F6 tornado, which has never been categorized before in our country, we were very close to reaching that 316 mile per hour point to make it an F6 here in Alabama. A terrifying reminder, but also a very realistic possibility, once again, in Alabama's future. Josh, Brenda?